We have a bracelet, we have a strap, we have pin trays, there's two, and we have tamper plugs, there are two. So when you're going to put the bracelet together, you put the uh, tray in one end, you got to push it in here pretty tight, get it started into the bracelet, and it snaps in there, there's a little pin that catches on the back side. That's why you put the tamper pin in, so they can't get to the back side of that pin. There you go. So it doesn't matter if there's anything below the bracelet, uh, as far as uh, sock or anything, we uh, bring it um, obviously around the bracelet and we are looking for a fit that uh, they can move it around, but it just can't slip over the bracelet bone. <clears throat> so within that, we're gonna uh, mark that and then we will uh, cut it to length. So then pin tray on the other side. Don't forget your tamper plug. Damper pin on the back side. Make sure the bracelet's facing up. The light's on top. There's a power light, a GPS light, and a zone light. These are indications of what's going on with the bracelet. The bracelet tells us what's going on. When it's uh, activated, the power light will blink green. If there's an issue with GPS, it'll blink red. If there's, a in <coughs> if there's an issue with the zone, then it'll blink red. We'll explain zones and GPS in a little bit here. Snap. That's on. It's not activated, but it's on. 